With most of us here in the LA metro area, we saw a lot of rain and maybe some flooding, but for one mountain community in particular, the storm was absolutely devastating. Tonight, people in Seven Oaks are without homes, roads are still impassable, and one family, as you mentioned, is still searching for their mom whose home was washed away. Much of Southern California made it through Tropical Storm Hillary without much damage, but our desert and mountain communities suffered incredible loss. Homes and cars destroyed and loved ones are still unaccounted for. Nicole Celeste Fay hiked through the affected areas of her hometown in Seven Oaks, a small community in the San Bernardino County Mountains. Even though we were there and we saw it with our own eyes, we walked on it, we touched it, it's still like not real. It still seems like a dream. Her mother-in-law, Sandy Drolet, was one of 30 people stranded on a riverbank after the main bridge into town was wiped out. She was airlifted to safety while firefighters hiked through dangerous terrain to rescue people's pets. We don't know. We don't know what is going to happen. You know, we have no access at all. Nobody has access, and I don't know how long it's going to take. <laughs> This is what her neighborhood looks like now. Some people literally have nowhere to go. I'm happier here than in a hotel or staying at my daughter's in Frisco. This is home. It's going to be home till I die. In the Coachella Valley, people are shoveling mud that's up to their knees. Officials say only once these roads are clear will locals know the extent of the damage. Back over in San Bernardino County, 74-year-old Christy Rockwood was inside her home when it was overwhelmed by river water and swept away. Tonight, her daughter, Tracy Monteverde, says she's grateful for the crews who continue to search for her mom, but she fears the worst may have happened. But each day that goes by, it does get harder. Um, you know, like the reality sets in and, uh, like the more pictures and videos that we're getting of the area and how just how big the debris field is. San Bernardino County is planning to open a local assistance center soon to support survivors and businesses. Also, there is a GoFundMe page to help residents of Seven Oaks. We're told that all of the money raised will be divided up among those impacted by the storm. You can find a link on our website, KTLA.com. Rick and Court, back to you.